take you to the screens and uh, share with you the groups that have been agitating so far. We know of three bondholder groups that want exemption from the domestic debt exchange program. The first group is led by private legal practitioner Martin Pegbu, and this group essentially is looking at individual bondholders who want to be exempted from the domestic debt exchange program. We know the membership started around 40 when we first broke the story, but as at uh, some few hours ago when we reached out to this group, their membership has exceeded 500. Uh, quite interesting, indicating that a lot of investors want to be exempted. The second group is led by Senor Hosi and Franklin Kujil of Imani Africa. And this group essentially is open to direct and indirect bond investors. So it means uh, uh, individual bondholders are part of those who have invested in bonds through mutual funds also can join the group. This group actually is telling those who have invested through uh, mutual funds to tell their fund managers not to sign up to the domestic debt exchange program. Interesting time uh, we all live to see. The third group, led by Dr. Iduanani, uh, this group essentially has pensioners, uh, 60 and above, who wants their investments protected. Dr. Iduanani is not just a regular person uh, leading this group. He's the former director general of the Securities and Exchange Commission. In fact, that's the regulator of the securities industry. He's also a lawyer, and uh, we just heard him a while ago saying they have presented petition to the finance ministry asking for some sort of audience, and essentially they are requesting that the original position should be restored. Pensioners should be exempted. The big question they are asking is that why would you exempt pension funds and pensioners would be included when pensioners uh, hold about uh, more or less those in the individual bondholder space about 8 billion and pension funds around 27 billion. Uh, so that's the question they're asking. We live to see how this uh, engagement would be with the finance ministry a little uh, later.